Hey, what's up? Kurt Edison here from the channel, or he. I'm one of the VFX designers from the channel, and thought I'd like to share some wisdom with you guys. It'll help you learn a lot about After Effects. Check out our channel if you want. It's Urhi, U-R-H-I-H. -H. And we have videos about every two weeks. Pretty awesome if I might say so myself. But today I'm gonna to show you the basics of After Effects. This will help prepare you for future tutorials that I'm going to be releasing. First off, open up your After Effects. Mine is open here. Mine is version CS 5.5. This is what it'll look like. Over here is your project and your effects control. Down here is your comp settings and comp control. Over here is your effects and presets which you can drag onto your comps. Your text editor and then also another expansion on a text editor. This is the preview tab so you can view what you've been making. And this is info, just gives you basic info like your X and Y position and the color that you've, you're on. Here's audio which isn't used much in After Effects but you can if you want. First off, I'm going to go over importing. To import, right click and click import and then file. You can do control I if you wish. I'm going to import from my new video, the grenade. Let's see. This should work. Once imported, you're going to want to create a comp so you can edit it. To create a comp, take the file, drag it down to here. Here's your comp. Now if you want to change the settings like its name up here, we're going to go running scene. Remember to keep everything always organized in your comps. It'll make editing way easier. Here's your resolution, which is adjusted from the clip that I dragged in, and the time, which is the exact time of the footage. If you wanted to add more time, you could edit it by coming up here, and if we want in 10 seconds instead of 5 or 40, my bad, you click it, and it created 40 seconds of footage. If you want to make it shorter again, you can go back up there and edit again, or you can drag this bar up here down, right click, and trim comp to work area. Now we're back to this again. Okay, next we're going to go over tools. Up here we have our selection tool. Selection tool is the general tool of After Effects. You can do most anything with this. For example, click on your comp, move stuff around, go through your effects, go through your previews, click on scenes, drag scenes. It's basically your all around tool. Now if you want more specific tools, you have your grabber tool, or the hand tool, as it's properly known, which can grab and move the footage in the work area without actually moving it out of the designated area. For example, see, that would cut it off if it was rendered. That tool just moves it around so you can see something else. Magnifying tool, where if you click it'll zoom in on that area. I don't typically use this tool, I use the mouse wheel on my mouse. The rotation, it rotates it on the anchor point. Then we have the camera tool. It'll move the camera. It's a 3D camera. If you wanted to add a 3D camera, it would move it. Uh, this is for 3D editing, which is a way more advanced feature, which will come in later tutorials. This is the pan behind tool. It'll grab things that are behind the front. For example, the anchor point. You can grab the anchor point, and if you wanted to like rotate it here, it would help with that. Normally, the selection tool can't grab the anchor point. It only grabs the footage, so that would be a good use of the anchor tool. Then we have the masking tool. This is the shape masking tool, where it'll create shapes and it'll mask them to that. Now masking, it cuts out the footage on the front to show you footage in the back. So if we had a picture back here, it would show this footage and then the picture back here. Over here is a custom mask, like if we wanted to mask out one person individually, for example, do something like that. Now you, of course, do a lot better job than that, but then we have the text editor. Text editor is, well, as it's known, to put text. Like so. And then you can drag the text, move it around, edit it, do what you want. Next we're going to do effects. On the right is the effects and presets tool. You can search any effect that you want to use. For example, a blur. Say we wanted to use a fast blur. We could take the fast blur and then drag it onto the footage and then it'd open it up over here in the effects controls. This, as you can see, as I add it, it blurs it. Another way to add an effect is to go up here and in effect controls. You can go and browse the effects through After Effects. And to find blur here, it'd be in Blur and Sharpen. They're divided into categories and subcategories. In Blur and Sharpen, let's say we want to add Fast Blur right here, we just click it instead, then here, over here it adds the Fast Blur. 
some effects on the timeline are frame interpolation. If you wanted to slow the footage down, which might make it very choppy, you'd add frame interpolation. It'll add frames in between the frames that are there. Basically, After Effects will create you more frames to make really nice slow motion. Motion blur is a very neat effect. It'll add blur to any objects that you've added to the scene, which will help make them more realistic. Here's the 3D button. It'll make your footage 3D so that you can use it in a 3D space. These modes are used in conjunction with other effects to make them look better. Finally, we have the RAM preview over here. This will help you view your footage. If you adjust it to play, notice that it'll, it'll only play about half speed, so don't worry if it goes in slow motion. Now if you want the whole footage in its fast motion to see what you did, you can click this button over here, which is RAM preview. RAM preview will render everything in this comp area, and it'll show you it in a loop form. And at this point, it'll actually add audio. Well, this is the end of the first tutorial of After Effects Basics. I hope you learned a lot about just the, some of the basics that you can use in After Effects. In my next tutorial, I'll go over them in more depth so that you know how to use them better. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to subscribe to both my main channel and this channel. So you'll be doing more tutorials that'll help you become a better After Effects person and hopefully make better movies. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions, Put them in the comments below.